everyone, it's Siobhan. And today we're diving into the exciting, sometimes chaotic world of project management. Project managers are the superheroes of the business world, taking on complex projects, juggling deadlines, and keeping everything running smoothly. They're the masterminds behind launching new products, developing cutting edge technology, and even organizing epic music festivals. I'm biased because I am a senior program manager and I have been in project management for over 10 years. In today's competitive job market, a project management certification can be your secret weapon, helping you stand out from the crowd, boost your credibility, and even unlock exciting new career opportunities. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. These videos are for you all and it makes me know to continue making them. Think of this guide as your trusty map to navigating the vast landscape of project management certifications. We'll be exploring a range of certifications from the globally recognized project management professional to the Agile Focused Certified Scrum Master. Hopefully after you watch this video, you'll know which project management certifications to focus on next, their potential impact on your career, and most importantly, which one is the perfect fit for you and your professional goals. First up, we have the big dog the one that holds weight across industries and countries, you guessed it, the Project Management Professional Certification, or for short, the PMP from the Project Management Institute. You do have to qualify. In order to, you need to either have three years of professional experience and a bachelor's, or five years if you don't have a college degree. Additionally, you need 35 hours of training the PMP was one of the hardest exams that I had to take. It was way too long and I couldn't imagine having to take it again. So I made sure to study for over six months so I wouldn't have to take that exam again. Now it's just maintaining it. As with any certifications, things have changed since I got mine in 2015, but it still doesn't take away that the PMP is a must to get you in the door and to increase your salary. You might not use everything you learn in that certification, but it does open doors for you. Uh, but hey, maybe you're just starting out and not quite ready for the big leagues. There are certifications designed specifically for those new to the game, like the Certified Associate in Project Management, also from PMI. To qualify, you just need a high school diploma or GED and at least 23 hours of project management education. The great thing is you can use the certification to satisfy the education requirement for the PMP. I'll be honest that I haven't met anyone who has gotten this certification. I've only read online that it does help to have it. And I think it would because if the Google PM certificate is opening doors, then the certified associate in project management definitely will. If you have, I would love to interview you. Please message me because I think it would be valuable for others to learn from your experience. And then we have the specialists certifications that cater to specific project management approaches or industries. For all you agile aficionados out there, the certified scrum master is your go-to certification. The certified scrum master is probably one of the most useful certifications that I ever got. And it was the easiest in that it was open book. I still use almost 85% of what I learned. Even though there is supposed to be a division between the PM and Scrum Master, sometimes a company doesn't have enough funding to have two people. So for a PM to know Agile and how to apply it to the tools and processes in their project is huge. So 
go get this easy but useful certification. Another popular option is Prince 2, a project management methodology that originated in the UK and is now recognized globally. Prince 2 provides a standardized framework for effective project management, ensuring consistent and structured approaches. In order to become a Prince 2 expert, you need to complete the foundation and practitioner certifications. While the Prince 2 Foundation certification introduces the principles and methodology of Prince 2, the practitioner certification builds on it. The Prince 2 practitioner certification requires a training course and an exam. During this exam, people will be tested on their understanding of Prince 2 concepts and their ability to apply them to various scenarios. The foundation and practitioner certifications are valid for three years. There is also the CompTIA Project Plus. CompTIA Project Plus is a well-recognized and valued credential in project management. This test confirms and in view an individual's knowledge and skills in planning, executing, and closing projects. Candidates for the CompTIA Project Plus certification must have completed a high school diploma or equivalent. Additionally, it is recommended to have at least nine to 12 months of experience managing projects or a related field. PMI also has a bunch of other certifications, so check those out like the PMI Agile Certified Practitioner. I also recommend that if you are working in a certain industry and are supporting something specific, you get certified in that as well. All right, project management enthusiasts, it's time for the ultimate showdown. We've explored the ins and outs of the PMP certification, but how does it stack up against other popular contenders like CAPM, Prince2, and Scrum Master? Let's step into the ring and compare these titans of project management. In this corner, we have the reigning champion, the PMP. Globally recognized, industry agnostic, and highly respected, the PMP is like the heavyweight champion of project management certification. In the opposite corner, we have the CAPM, a worthy contender for those new to the project management arena. And let's not forget about Prince2, a methodology-focused certification that's gained global recognition for its structured approach to project management. Now that we've sized up the competition, you might be wondering which certification is right for me. Well, my friend, the answer depends on your unique career goals, experience level, and industry aspirations. If you're just starting out in project management or have limited experience, the CAPM is a fantastic stepping stone I would even say the CSM is probably even better. For those with several years of experience under their belts, the PMP is the gold standard. If you're working in an environment that values structured methodologies and rigorous documentation, Prince2 might be your perfect match. So there you have it a crash course in project management certifications. We've explored the PMP, the CAPM, and Prince2 and Scrum Master. Obtaining a certification levels up your skills and unlocks new opportunities. Choosing the right certification is a personal decision. So what are you waiting for? Invest in your future and join the ranks of certified professionals. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks. What doors can these certifications actually open for you? The answer is a lot. Think of a project management certification as a turbocharger for your career, propelling you towards new opportunities and increased earning potential. 
Certifications make you stand out from the crowd. In a sea of job applicants, that shiny PMP or CSM is like a beacon. It tells employers you're invested in mastering project management skills. It's not just about getting noticed. Certifications show your commitment to professional development. Employers love candidates eager to learn and stay ahead. And let's not forget the networking opportunities. Many certifications come with access to professional organizations and events. Now, for the question on everyone's mind, how much can you actually earn with a project management certification? Project management is a high demand field with excellent earning potential. Certifications can give you a significant leg up in the salary department. According to PMI, PMP certified professionals earn up to 25% more. A single certification can boost your salary by a quarter. Certifications also open doors to career advancement opportunities. With the right skills, you can climb the project management ladder. Certifications can help you get there. So there you have it. We've journeyed through the world of project management certifications, explored PMP, dipped into Agile with CSM, and ventured into PRINCE2. Think of this guide as your compass, pointing you towards the right certification. It's a personal decision requiring careful consideration. The answers to your questions will guide you. Whatever path you choose, remember this. Obtaining a project management certification is an investment in yourself and your future. It's a signal to the world that you're serious about mastering project management and ready to take on challenges and rewards. So take a deep breath and embark on this exciting journey. The world of project management is vast and there's a place for you at the helm. Remember, you're not alone. There's a community ready to support you, embrace the challenges, celebrate the victories, and never stop learning. The future of project management is bright. Let me know which certification you want or are getting. Hope you have a happy 4th of July.